that closes. Awesome. Next up is the footer accordion. So when we scroll right down and you mouse over this part, it actually opens up and it closes up. We're going to create a dynamic panel which can do something very similar. So let's go to our actual file, scroll right to the bottom, select all of these columns, right click, and let's create a dynamic panel. Awesome, and we're going to name it uh, Quick Links. Just want to make sure that uh, I take note of the, the actual height, which is 300 at the moment. And then I am going to make the dynamic panel smaller. And I'm going to bring up the footer. So the interaction that I need is on mouse over. So if we go to mouse enter, what we want to do is to change the actual size of our panel. So what we'll do is click on set size of the quick links to a height of 300. And we're going to animate it is in out cubic. This makes this just that just creates a very smooth kind of transition. The duration is 500 milliseconds. That's okay, cool. And then another interaction would be on mouse exit. We're going to reset the size, set the size of quick links back to 130, say, okay, and I'm going to slide it up, but that should be fine. Say, okay. Again, we're going to keep this very simple as opposed to just pushing down the footer. All we're going to do is just create enough space for this dynamic panel to change dimensions. So we'll just move it up a little bit somewhere there. Preview that. Bottom. Go. Cool. So the key thing about prototyping, once again, it's to convey the idea. If it takes way too long to figure out how to create that transition or animation, uh, I would say leave it and just create the basic um, view that you need to display or to convey to your audience, whether it's to designers or to developers.